Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. In this video, I'll talk about the patient counselling on induction of labour, short form IOL. So these are the steps when we have to counsel the patient on induction of labour. First, introduce ourselves. Second, confirm the patient details. Make sure it is the correct patient and correct procedure. Third, we have to check their background knowledge. So we ask, do you know what induction of labour is? And see what's their basic knowledge on the procedure. Fourth, we explain why we have to do this IOL. So it is usually done in patients who, for example, have post date pregnancy. So in these cases, we can tell them that their pregnancy is already post date and it might cause complications to the baby, such as macrosomic baby, which means big baby. And when the baby is too big, it might cause obstructed labor during delivery. Placental insufficiency can also cause reduce in oxygen transfer to the baby and post date is also increasing the risk of oligohydramnios, which is reduced amniotic fluid volume. So this is why for post babies, we have to do induction of labor to fasten the delivery process. So fifth, explain regarding induction of labor and its method. So we tell the patient that we will either be putting medications such as prostin, or we can do amniotomy by hooking the amniotic membrane and making the lacquer to leak out and also increase the speed of labor. So depending on which method we are using, explain regarding the procedure. And also six, explain the complication that might occur. So for example, in amniotomy, some of the complications that might occur are cord prolapse, injury to the fetal presenting part, or there might be failed induction of labor, which we will need to convert to emergency lower segment caesarean section. We have to inform the patient regarding this risk. And also other complications include intrauterine infection. Seven, explain about the benefits of IOL where we will be able to prevent intrauterine death. Eight, success rate is around 70 to 80 percent and the failure rate is around 20 percent and there is 20 percent chance of converting to emergency lower segment caesarean section. Ten, ask whether they have any questions to ask us and also obtain their consent for the IOL and thank the patient. So that's all for the steps of counselling for IOL. Thank you.